Hey, hey, everybody, I'm Jeff. I'm Alex. Welcome to As Good As It Gets and greeting from aboard, Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Sea. That's right, we are on again. No complaints. We love this ship and love the route. Alex, what room are we in this week? 7223. That's right, we are forward, starboard, into your room. So we were in the dungeon. This has occupancy for up to two occupants. Okay, location of this room, you got the forward elevators where that gentleman is walking right there. And here is our room, of course, with our magnets. And you can see the front uh, cross walkway, hallway of the uh, ship is just right there. So you are forward of the ship. All right, Alex, we're gonna go in 7223. It's gonna open up the door. Now these are standard uh, card slot rooms. And again, this is occupancy for up to two people. Again, just Alex and me this week, so we got our beds separated. But let's start, as we always do, going clockwise. I'm gonna hide Alex right there behind the closet door. And you can see, got all the hanging up clothes. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven shelves. On top of the closet, you do have a shelf. This is our box of ducks that we have and a couple life vests and our Starbucks mug. Closed up those doors and let's continue on. Hey, there I am in the mirror. Let's talk about the vanity. What do you need to know about the vanity? As Alex jumps up and down, you do have storage on each side with one, two, three, four shelves. And you do have another one on this side as well. Large mirror with a light up right here so you can get ready now let's talk about the desk that is my 15 inch macbook pro ipad phone and plugs over here you got your articulating tv so whether you're in bed or on the couch which we will see in just one moment you can see the tv all right i just shut off the lights so now we can talk about power what is on the dashboard if you will uh, the vanity you do have one standard e, uh, european type eef plug which looks like this it is 220 volts so do not plug any 110 volt appliances into it you do have your announcement uh, speaker volume right there they are able to cancel and for those of you with just North American plugs, you do have two 110 volt outlets along with the uh, light switch for the vanity. Okay, down below, Alex is gonna show you that you have three drawers on this side, three drawers on this side, with a small drawer here. Moving along, you do have a cooler. They can put some uh, beverages in. Again, it's not a refrigerator, it is an evaporative cooler. Keep your valuables in the safe. You do have two shelves right on top so you can store your oh, accessories, whatever else you need to for storage. Okay, I did mention that we have our beds apart uh, this week because it is an Alex and me, but you can put those twin size beds together. Uh, we do have one light on that side and the light off that side. There is a mirror on the back side. Plenty of mirrors in this room, as you can see. And there's an Alex dancing, as always. We just came back from dinner, so we have our tomorrow's uh, cruise compass. Let it and focus. Oh, yes, we are consecutive cruisers. So I'm going to talk about that in a later video when you are a consecutive cruiser and what that does. So check out that video up and coming. Love the towel animals are frogs. And Alex is raving about his M&M blanket from the M&M store in Las Vegas, our second home. And there are his friends. We, since we travel so much, of course, always bring some friends for your kids. Uh, give them that uh, home home field. But well, this is our home because we're on cruise ships a lot. You do have a two night stands. So we have our uh, digital alarm, uh, battery alarm clock right there, manually adjusted, so we can change time zones manually and Alex was just showing you the drawers. Now again, when you do have the beds put together as a king size bed, those nightstands will be underneath the night lights on the side. And Alex is sprawling out on the couch. <laughs> it is a love seat. It is not a sleeper. It is just a couch. Again, you do have occupancy for two people. So it is a, a love seat, a light on the side, and we use our magnetic hooks up there for our hats. So uh, we do use uh, both the clip style uh, magnetic hooks and the traditional um, hook style magnetic hooks. This is a washroom. 
All right, Alex is showing you the washroom. You do have a standard encapsulated cruise ship shower with the removable head, the all-in-one real Caribbean uh, soap that you use for everything. You do have two little shelves right there. So if you do choose to bring your own body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and bath accessory, whatever you need, you do have two little shelves right there. Moving along, you do have that awesome vacuum toilet that everybody loves, a little shelf for your towels on top. And again, oh, we just had our room made up in the afternoon, so we do have fresh towels. And it was a uh, formal night tonight, so I got my formal uh, Caribbean shirt on. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, let's talk about storage. Uh, we got our little bag, toiletry bag right there. And you got two more shelves uh, right there. Couple mirrors. And we use one of the glasses as our toothbrush holder. Down below, you do have a shelf, so you can put your uh, storage down there along with a garbage. All right, finishing out the room walk around, you do have two heavy duty hooks to hang up whatever you need. Again, we got a magnetic hook right here for Alex's C-Pass card right here, so he knows where it is at all times, and so do we. So when he walks out, he will see his C-Pass card. Let's talk about placement in the room, or of the room, on the ship. All right, again, this is deck seven, forward, starboard side. So looking at the ship, you see the uh, red dot right there, forward elevators you saw, and the front of the ship you saw, aft elevators are here. Adventure Ocean is on deck 12 aft, so you can walk through the ship uh, for an aft on deck seven with no problem to get to Adventure Ocean, Diamond Club, or Crown Lounge as they call it now. Uh, renamed is on deck five forward, and the promenade is on deck five, casinos deck four, and the uh, Lido pool deck is deck 11. All right, thanks for hanging out with us as we take you through uh, Navigator of the Sea stateroom number 7223. And again, this is just a standard dungeon interior room for occupancy for up to two. Alex, do you like the room? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Gets you on a cruise ship? Yeah. Gets you the basics? Gets you all you need to do? Because we don't spend much time in the room, do we? Mm. No, not no. much. Okay, well, if you haven't already, we invite you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at good at it gets. Hey, if you've been on the Navigator of the Seas, leave your comments below. We've been on this how many comments. times? Like a lot. And of course, uh, if you uh, have any questions about the stateroom or you have experiences with the stateroom, leave your comments below. We love your comments. We love your subscriptions and we love hanging out with you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Well, that's a lot of hanging. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao for now from the Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. See ya. Bye-bye.